What is poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Chelsea Transfer News Daily video. Now, we can all speculate and theorise what Chelsea are going to do this January, but after Frank Lampard's recent comments, you can actually pretty much be confident that Chelsea are going to do something. Or certainly Frank Lampard very much wants Chelsea to do something. He's talking about signing and attacking areas, he wants Chelsea to finish off chances, essentially score goals, win games, that's how football works. But there is another couple of interesting things to talk about as well. Before we do get into today's content, I want to remind you there to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Please do sub, hit the bell notifications icon, why not like this video to help me out? Alright, let's get into it. Before we talk about forwards and goals, which truly is the biggest issue at Chelsea Football Club, at present, let's talk about the fabled left-back position. We all know Chelsea have two very different left-backs in Emerson Palmieri and Marcus Alonso, probably more of a left wing-back, but the truth is, it would seem Frank Lampard doesn't really fancy either of them and is actually playing as Plaqueta over at left-back, which we all know he's played there before, but generally it's still him playing out of position and a guy who's in his 30s now. Not ideal for Frank Lampard's direct, pacey football. Sure, the right-back spot looks locked down with Reese James, and it does look like his injury that he picked up is not that serious, which is great news, and the centre-backs between the four of them can get through to the end of the season before Frank Lampard, and indeed Chelsea, make a final decision on the partnership and whether to buy a new centre-back but the left-back spot still looks problematic. Obviously, Chelsea have been linked with a few left-backs of late, even the likes of uh, Ryan Bertrand, which sounds a bit silly, it could happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Chelsea have been linked with the likes of Alex Tellez over the last sort of few windows, and he's refused to renew his contract. The 28-year-old might think that he's got one more big sort of money move left in him. Still before 30, he probably relies on his legs a little bit still, but you know, he probably fancies a four-year contract at a decent club, possibly. Whether Chelsea would want to sign a 28-year-old left back and put him on a long contract, I'm not so sure, especially under the new regime. And obviously Chelsea's biggest link, or the player they've been linked with most, is young English left back Ben Chilwell. Now this is getting interesting, Ben Chilwell actually has been in poor form of late, something that I've spoken about online and a lot of people have been speaking about, but he's still regarded as a very talented player that fits the player profile of Frank Lampard's Chelsea team. Although Leicester boss Brendan Rodgers has swatted away the sort of rumours and connections earlier in the transfer window, interestingly he'd been dropped for Christian Fuchs last time out in an important game, well actually Leicester lost against Burnley which is pretty telling. Lots of Leicester fans were raising their eyebrows and thinking why has Ben Chilwell been dropped for this game? A lot of them were speculating on social media, okay he's gone then, who are we selling Chilwell to then? Probably accepting to it because they know they'll make a lot of money for it for a player who's actually been in poor form of late. Now whether Ben Chilwell has been in poor form because maybe in the back of his head he's pushing for a move, a lot of the time when a player thinks they thinks or wants to move, their form can drop because their heads are not completely focused on what they are doing. From a Chelsea fan's perspective, you'd like to hope, yeah that's the only reason why he's played bad the last few games, because he wants to move to Chelsea. He'll move to Chelsea and then he'll play really well. <laughs> I think a lot of football people would still say Ben Chilwell would be an excellent acquisition for Chelsea. I mean he is England's starting left back, you know, Gareth Southgate rotates left back and right back, but generally when he plays the big games, he plays Alexander-Arnold on the right and he plays Ben Chilwell on the left. And Chilwell being so young, you'd hope and imagine there's a lot of development room still in him to get or to turn into a better player. So that would be really interesting. It's quite easy to speculate when a player is dropped for a big Premier League game that something's going on. I don't think there's any notification of injury, so watch this space, it might not be going, to be honest, he could quite easily be going to Manchester City, do you know what I mean? I know Mendy's come back into their side, but it will be really interesting to see what happens, and I think there's a chance that Chelsea might sign Ben Chilwell this January. Right, moving on to the big problem patch on Chelsea's pitch. That was a good alliteration there. 
Scoring goals and finishing chances. The 22-year-old number nine, Tammy Abraham, has done exceptionally well this season, but he has too much pressure on his shoulders, and he needs someone else that's either on the pitch with him or can come off the bench and alleviate some pressure and win some games with the odd goal. As things stands, that does not look to be Michy Batshuayi, and Olivier Giroud hasn't had a sniff. Olivier Giroud does look to be out the door, and to be honest, if he wasn't, he probably would have been named in the match they scored against Newcastle because the amount of balls Chelsea were putting into the box, the kind of game that Giroud probably actually would have done really well playing. But no, I think they're wrapping up Olivier Giroud because they are expecting him to be leaving imminently to Antonio Conte's into Milan. So really, we have to see what happens with Batshuayi, but I think Chelsea and Frank Lampard want to bring in a second striker as well as maybe even a wide forward, but let's stick on the strikers for the moment. Chelsea have been loosely linked with Edison Cavani. Now that's another really old player that for me doesn't make too much sense, but he has just put in an official transfer request to PSG. I think he leaves on a free at the end of the season, but I think he wants to get a move now and see out the rest of the season maybe at somewhere like Atletico Madrid under Diego Simeone. Now Cavani is obviously an elite level striker or certainly was maybe he's, he is over the bell curve now but he is one of my favorite center forwards uh, maybe of all time he's got like, unparalleled movement very very strong excellent finisher I would always I always wanted to see him in the Premier League but it's again it's like he's probably past it now or I know his latter and came and did a job in his mid 30s but for me I don't know, I feel like it just doesn't fit the model and it won't be going in the right direction. Certainly shouldn't be what Frank Lampard's looking for. Or maybe it is, what do I know? But I feel like it's just a Simeone move waiting to happen, you know? It just, they just seem married together. So I'm not reading too much into those new stories. One player that Frank Lampard did confirm is in the back of his mind. I think he was frustrated when the journalist first posed this question to him because he probably saw in the media there was so much news about it. That's Moussa Dembele. I think he's had conversations with Chelsea about it and he's probably identified him as a target. Moussa Dembele has already scored 14 goals for Lyon in Ligue 1 this season and looks like the correct player profile that Frank Lampard might want. Um, and it's the right age as well to hopefully have an upward trajectory in terms of development. Now, Chelsea's had a £34 million bid rejected by the French club, and they maintain they do not want to sell him. Although, apparently, Moussa Dembele himself, the young striker, had an agreement with Chelsea and is happy to come on their terms. Perhaps he's happy to be a second striker, challenging for the first team while getting paid a lot of money. Plus, generally, coming to Chelsea, even as just a second striker, massively raises your profile as a professional footballer. So you can understand why Moussa Dembele would want it. But the league aren't side are digging their heels in, and they sort of reiterated a few weeks ago how they do not want to let him go, but apparently, going through the media now, they have identified a potential replacement for their potentially outgoing striker. So the French club might have to submit to the player wanting to leave and the fact how they can make decent money on them. Who knows, maybe they accept a bid for £45 million, £40 million. They make a bunch of money, bring in this new striker who fits the similar profile of Moussa Dembele and they'll perhaps have to just take it on the chin. Personally, I think this would be a good move for Chelsea. He's just the right player profile that wouldn't undermine Tammy Abraham at Chelsea. Someone like Timo Werner, who's obviously elite and a player that everyone would want at their club, would put the pressure on Tammy and make him think, well, I'm not number one anymore. But with Moussa Dembele, I think he'd understand how he is number one, but it's just that level of player that would massively keep him on his toes. And to be honest, hopefully they could have a good positive relationship together, play together, help each other out. Who knows, Chelsea could just start scoring goals again. Still, we know Frank Lampard is interested in this player. We know the player is interested in coming to London. Really, it's just his parent club letting him go and submitting defeat in perhaps the transfer happening. We'll have to see what happens there. But of course, swing by football therapy every single day for the latest Chelsea news. I'll keep you updated with everything that's going on. Right, but I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on these players that I've spoken of. Alex Tellez, Ben Chilwell, Moussa Dembele, and hey, even Edison Cavani. Let me know your thoughts. Get down in the comment section below. Would you take any of these players? Would you hold out to the summer? Personally, I think Chelsea need to do business now. Obviously, Jadon Sancho and Timo Werner are off the menu, certainly until the summer, but it seems Chelsea need to do business now, so realistic options need to be brought forward. Remember, if you've enjoyed the content today, please do like the video and do subscribe to Football Therapy if you are new to the channel. Why not follow me on 
social media, and that's at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's at Football Yannick. For more additional content featuring yours truly, please do go subscribe to my other YouTube channel, Yan's Yard. I'll put the link in the top of the description. Do click on said link, go subscribe, and check out their second channel where I play games and do other Chelsea-related things. That's it from me, guys. So make sure you enjoy all the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.